Hey, this is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer, and this is Cookie, and this is the reason why I brought the dog up stand to alive. Um, it wasn't that she sits the whole time, it's she's super wild. And it, her grooms used to be almost two hours long. With the stand's help, it cut it down to 45 minutes I can get her done. Um, if the stand is not for every dog, but most dogs, and I use it for almost every dog, including just a prop up, just to hold uh, the dog up when I'm doing nail trims. But this is the reason why I'm her. Mom and, hey, hey, hold on, look at the camera. Oh, we gotta get to work. Mom and dad wait outside, and it went from two hours to 45 minutes. All right, so we're gonna use it for the beginning session, skip the bath, and maybe as a wrap up, depends on if my battery's dying. Here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Mom, mom and dad like short. So I just prop that up there. She does need a little lift on it. And she doesn't like excitement. Okay. You're making me forget something. Shh, shh. She's very, very excitable. We've got this just propped up. It's got a little push to it. It's not damaging or hurt or hurting, but she's just very wild. Okay, okay. Focus. Focus. She has very low toleration to be groomed, so we don't you don't want to take too long. I'm doing a 10 down. And the dog up stand is just kind of helping her stay stood up and focus. Just kind of directing her attention. Have some firmness. Let her know we are working right now. We're not playing around. The faster I can go now, the faster she can get home. Kind of making a noise that gets her up, up, focused. <laughs> You're fine. I'm fading the skirt, making it real light, and I'm gonna come back and probably do a two guard down or a four guard down. I haven't decided yet. Lift up there, do underneath. I'm gonna save the tummy for later. I've got the tin, so I might as well just hit up the ear, everywhere I need the tin. So ears, inside of ears. You can see I'm moving quickly. If I give her too much time, she'll start jumping and yelling, stuff like that. And mom and dad know this about her character. <laughs> so that's why they love this one dog at a time concept that I do. Ten back here. I'm not gonna move this camera around a lot with her. She needs attention. She needs when we need to move. It's not a lot of time, but I do want to show you that the dog up stand is holding her, assisting her. And truly, I remember the day I said I have got to get this built. It was because of Cookie. Our time of grooming was like almost two hours, and it was mostly because she was moving around the whole time. With the dog up stand, you can see it kind of centers her. And it's not really like pushing so hard that she can't move, you know? It's just giving her body like, oh, I've got to stay here kind of feeling. Okay, you see? Chop, 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 no. No, don't fight it. Nope. Nope. Good. Okay, into the inside of your ears here. And that's okay, she's gotten off of it, that's fine. I'm not back there right now, so I'll give her, I'll let her have that, you know what I mean? It's not going to fit every dog 100% perfectly, but it will still work. Man, we save so much time on the, with using the dog upstand. Okay.
I'm gonna move that. I'll move her off of it and come back in with my guard. Because you're gonna do a two guard down. And take take that back. I'm gonna switch out to a four guard down. I don't need her on the stand right now. So I'm gonna work. <laughs> Focus, focus. She loves to get real hungry. Um, this is every dog, she's pulling. She, you can't feel it or see it like I can, but she's pulling, she doesn't want to be here kind of thing. So move quickly. You want to get in and out of here. I'm gonna get most of the hair off, but I'm not um, being picky right now. I'm actually gonna do a lot of cleanup after the the grooming itself. You can tell she as soon as she starts getting too excited, she gets herself so excited, you know. <laughs> Look this way. Look this way. Focus. Think about something else. Cookie, think about something else. Think about something else. Go. Think about something else. Where's your other schnauzer friends, huh? Where's your other schnauzer friends? You see. All right, thanks for watching Didi Croy, and we'll go to video two, hopefully. We'll see how much battery I've got left. Thank you so much, and we're off to the bath. All right, here we are again. We're gonna get started for the rough out. Right. Try to keep her calm. All right, so we're gonna do it all one more time, and then I'll actually do a little close-up video of doing schnauzer eye brows. Okay, so you see she's moving around, turning around. Once we get the dog up stand under there, I think it'll help us out big time. Because this could be really difficult, you know, if you're working with the dog running in circles on your table. So. Still got it set for her because she was the last one on it. So I'm gonna put that under there. Again, like you can see, she's just right at it. I can slide it. It's, uh, sorry, sorry. I can slide. Ah, 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 ah. Be firm and direct in your grooming, okay? Here we go. Again, time is of essence for her. We're doing a 10. Just kind of coming back down. Anything that I missed will come have come up after the blow drying. That took about six minutes. I mean, it, it went, it's been going fast, so we'll have her done here in a heartbeat. I'm gonna lift her tail. I'm not leaving a line. I like to do it kind of faded in so it just blends. So real light, I'm barely like even touching the skin, you know what I mean? Barely touching the body. Okay. Coming up this way and then down. Barely see it, it's awesome. Okay, double checking the head here. She's got these wide ears that uh, hang up uh, outside of her face. Pretty funny uh, to see. You can kind of see her character with them. She's moving around a lot on her face. This is a typical schnauzer character. So, Real light come in there. There's a couple knots and mats in there. Just a real light tangle. So I'm going to go up backwards, forwards, however I can get them. Work around the dog up sand. I'm going to lay, set her down there. Come back here. Get my four guard. Again, moving quickly. Actually, um, there's a few tangles in there. I'm going to brush real, real fast. Move this so I can get all this action going. That way my four guard runs through it real nice and easy. Brush the tangles out. If you feel snagging, keep brushing. 
Move this out of the way. Moving quickly. Now, I don't want to give her enough time to be like, ah, you know, start screaming. It's just something that she does. I don't, just her character. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm doing the four guard on this side real fast. It, but I need all this right now so I can't put the stand up for, uh, under her. Use this other arm, pull it up. She's really not wanting to cooperate. That's the end of the table, girlfriend. not hurting at all it's not pushing to the point of, of discomfort and it's not being having to be put there for very long and do her pads she's barely she's not even on the stand at this point but it is uh, letting her know that it's under there I'm still moving quickly because she just, I just know her. She's going to get impatient with me. Okay, put you here. I'm going to lift this. No, stay there. Stay. Stay. Use my 40 here on the pads. I'm also going to clean up her ears out a tad bit. Watch your flaps. She's got really hairy ears, so I'm going to take those in there just a tad. I did it already with my 10, but just to clean it up a little bit more. Anything straight in the ear canal is going to get pulled out. And I'm trying to also keep moving because I'm at back to back appointments today. She wants to kind of twist and do all this stuff. We can't have that right now. We're going to do nail trimming. Look forward, sweetie. Look forward. Good girl. Uh -uh. No, no. Be direct. Because she's pulling. I don't want her to pull uh, away from me. Ah, 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 ah. She's ah, ah. We're going to do a nail dremel as well. They have all their schnauzers nails dremeled. Ah, 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 no. Settle. 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 Y'all can't see the push-pull stuff. Uh, it's real hard to explain through a video. But if you were here, she does not want me to do her nails. 
and not in a mean way, just in a very, um, I would rather be doing something else, way, pulling, jerking, stuff like that, she's doing okay right this second, okay, we're going to come back and dremel, no, come on, no, stop, see, it's not going to be a perfect situation, but hey, 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 you still got to tell the dog what to do, okay, so we're going to dremel now, still have to be the boss here, No, no. Hit a knot right there. She didn't like that. I'm so going through checking with my comb. You guys know how I do that, right? Go back and check everything. She does not like stuff. You can kind of see her pushing, pulling, jerking, grabbing. It's just it's very common. This is exactly why the dog up stand really does help her. And this video is not for the grooming, this is for the dog up stand. Kind of showing the presentation as far as it will fit under there, it doesn't hurt the dog. I should get some, another pair of scissors. Oh, I'm getting the longer pairs. Yeah, she does not cooperate here, so stay. Get what you can here, right? And we're going to put this back under there so we can go faster when it comes to like the body barely touching it's barely touching in there I don't know if you can see like the gap see it's barely just up up there so but it does help them understand we're doing something here and we have to focus okay just kind of tidy up some of these flary sticking out No, she's so smart. Schnauzers are so smart. Tidying up some of these. Shaping, not really taking off any length or anything. Okay, same thing with the front here. Now, I'm gonna, come in, I'm gonna start this video over so it can be searched for with eyebrows because I found it really hard to find like eyebrows uh, videos. So here we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is my way of doing eyebrows. It's very easy, fast. I'm not really picky. There are definitely other people's eyebrows being done out there that look way much better. Um, brush them forward and 
This is my shaping brush. Now I'm going to use my actually brush to brush her her beard here. Make sure there's no knots in there. Mm. This is just kind of letting me get in there, and so that I know I'm done with the beard, and I can just really focus on the eye lashes. Uh -uh. No, look forward. Can hear that snag. Okay, keep going until it's gone. Stop. Stop. She wants to move. It's really a difficult groom. Stop. Because uh, most of the time schnauzers are telling you what to do. And in a grooming, we don't want them to do that. It's dangerous for them to tell us what to do while we're grooming. Okay. So now we're going to focus on our eyebrows. Brush them forward. You can actually go this way, right? And I try to bring it real tight back here like that, right against the, the bone structure there. Or if you're practiced yourself for a while, turn your, turn your scissors the other way like this. But you've got to um, start somewhere. So you want to start, hey, stop, stop. She's pulling, looking around, jerking. So you can start real slow here and then come back and tidy it up. And less is more sometimes. So once you got a good curve, you know, and come tidy it, that's it. Stop pulling. Stop. That's it. You know, like, just leave it alone already. Stop. See here. Look here. You got to hold something. I mean, this is dangerous. I'm going to come bring that all the way to the line of the ear. And straight into the body, right? Straight into that bone right there. Oh. Miss some here and come back and clean that up upwards way. Bring this down a little bit. Some of these. Kind of stop. Stop. Bring that real tight in there. Watch the eyeballs. Go up here. Check this one. Make sure your line's straight. It's kind of not straight. Fix it. Stop. I'm not moving. I'm not really hurting her, like in any way hurting her, but I am having to hold her properly so she doesn't move on me while I'm in her face like this. You have to hold something. Straight line there. Make sure it's straight. If it's not, you can kind of tidy stuff in there. Use your, my moving brush. This is not doing any brushing for me. Okay, what are we doing here? Look at me, cookie. <laughs> Let me see here. Stay, stay, stay. There's stuff just sticking out. I'm kind of cleaning all that up. No. Looks good. Okay. Let's finish up her ear. Stay. You're fine. You're fine. See, easy. Um, if you want them long and all that stuff, yeah, it takes time. And you should fluff dry those um, eyebrows so that they're softer to work with and they're completely dry, which could take some time. I'm um, here. We're doing dogs. I'm doing these dogs less than an hour. They've got an appointment in and out, so... It's just a little bit different kind of grooming. We get the job done. It's got some eyebrows. I think they look good. Par parents think they look good. We're good. You can definitely make them look a lot better if you want to. We're all different types of groomers. Look forward. This dog for a two hour groom. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. She'd probably be screaming. Um, uh -uh. I'm right with you. Stay. I'm glad we're almost done here. Stay. 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 Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay.